Hi there, this video is a continuation about the previous video that I've uh, created. To find that video, go to YouTube, um, search in Paul Solweiss 2, enter, and you will see this page here. And uh, this is the video that I'm talking about, sub SQVI, SQVI VBFA topic flow. So I forgot to mention in that video a way on how to um, access this using a program. So this is the um, SQVI um, program that I've uh, created and uh, highlighted. Oh no, before that, let's try to execute it first. So this is the uh, parameters and this is the output. So how are we gonna run this? So other um, companies don't um, uh, allow, what do you call this, um, customers or users to access a SQVI. So we can um, create a program for them by highlighting this one, uh, select quick view, additional functions, and generate program. And after that, go to that face again and this this time display report name and this is the report name okay and uh, if we go to se38 type that um, program name run it and it's the same and uh, we can also use that report uh, program name in se93 and create our own uh, what do you call this uh, transaction custom transaction and enter that program name and I'm looking for a way on how to uh, skip this step here as e93 because if you will be um, creating um, a T code you're obliged to transport it to QA and production server so that's another um, step there so I use this uh, one program uh, before it's uh, called uh, rainbow sap it's a it's a product that was uh, created by this one company and they were able to create uh, a logical transaction that one i'm still researching so there have a good night